Now, what's your thoughts on the dolphin kick now? I mean, you guys didn't really have dolphin kicking back then, and now they've brought it in, and it's kind of been exploited a little bit. What's your thoughts on it? Sure. So if you're going to go 49 and 100 breasts, you better have about 11 dolphin kicks. That's all. Um, you know, it, 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 it is, uh, it's a big deal for carrying speed, keeping balance. Um, I think that that dolphin kick, it, yeah, I love it. it if, if you're going to. Where do you put it in the pullout? We teach both because um, we want them to be armed with the tools to make the choice. Uh, it's about hitting the breakout and carrying speed and hitting the breakout for us. Right. Uh, you want to carry speed, get your body positioned through the breakout, um, or, you know, let's try it the other way. So if I were an athlete and I was doing it, I wasn't a great dolphin kicker, but I could sure open up a pull out, use my whole body and snap through that dolphin kick. Some of them are much better dolphin kickers, so we ask them to try that dolphin kick first. And then do their pull out, you know. Yeah. So we let we teach them both, and we ask them to use them both with a, a decision like I'm going to do this set this way, I'm going to do this set this way, and then you know we'll make that choice later based on what the watch is telling us what's going to work better for them.